Let me tell you guys, the time to ask me to do something is right when I fucking wake up because my girl called me, FaceTime me, my dad, at the crack of the dawn and was like, girl, I want to do something. What you want to do today? It's like, I don't know. Let's hang out. She goes, what about going to Canada? Forgets her passport, so we go back all the way to her house, and then we make our fine ass selves all the way to Canada. It took us, I think, two and a half hours to get from Tacoma all the way to Canada. We end up going an hour into the past the border, which might I add, they didn't even really check her passport, her information, or nothing. Didn't even talk to her. Was asking me the questions about what we're doing, how long we're gonna be there, so and so. Looking at my passport, did not stamp it. Might I add, which I was super upset about. Like, what's the point of me getting a physical passport if they ain't gonna stamp it no more? I might as well have just bought the card. I didn't know since I've never been out of the country for it before, and this is my first time, that we wouldn't have service there. It makes sense, like logically thinking about it. We made it through. I had to phone call my mom, like the unhinged daughter that I am, and ask uh, to ask to authorize Xfinity to pay for like their package deal for internet and service and whatnot. And so I told her, you know, I got you on the next bill, next check. You're gonna get some funds from me to cover that expense. Yeah, my bad, I'm in Canada right now. But we had a blast. We went through the city and the city is so clean. The buildings are shorter there so you can see everything. And the glass they use there is like mirrored. It's very, very pretty. Super nice cars over there. Everybody keeps their car clean. All the cars there are Expensive. They park on the streets like crazy people, but I still don't know the name of this bridge, but I'll put it up over the screen. I can't remember how to say it for the life of me, but we got there early. Didn't know it was so expensive to get in, so we went to a bar first. Cantina Norte, if I remember right. We got coffee at 7 o'clock at night, and then we went back to the bridge. We spent probably two hours, three hours? I don't know in this like park and then it was closing down so we snuck around and like got into some parts that they were trying to close down <laughs>
so pretty and we got the cutest pictures together and it was just like a really fun spur of the moment trip and then on the way back we sang the entire three two and a half hours that it took us to get home yeah it was the best time highly recommend spur of the moment trips it's the best like comment subscribe for some random ass trips coming in your future for 2024 <laughs> This you rare. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not looking for it. Oh, it's so amazing. I know, huh? <laughs> A dog. Yes. <laughs> no, I just hope I don't drop my phone. Yeah, it would fit. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> it's way out there. Watch out. <laughs>